What is happening, everybody? Molecular Narwhal here with some new game Wednesday. The series where we usually review indie games live, but for the last five weeks and the next five weeks, it is not because of some traveling. Anyway, this is Fumiko. I think that's how you say it. Fumiko, a game by Fumiko Game Studio. Uh, not really sure. It says it's a storied, rich 3D platformer. And great soundtrack by the dev. That's what they say. So, oops, it's seven dollars on Steam. So it seems uh, seems affordable. I, I don't know. The music's kind of uh, kind of mel melodic. Does that does that sound right? It sounds good. I like it. Um, but okay, let's just get right into it. So this is a series we we just write games into games that I am given by devs and. Uh, Usually it's live to give you my unadulterated opinion, so it's just fresh, but uh, there will be no cuts or anything. It'll be as similar to live as it can be without being live. I'm just doing it like this because I'm gone. Move forward with WSD, the game sports. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. Press escape or button start to open or close the menu. Uh, let's change our settings. Make sure we're on the... Okay, well... There you go. Sound sync. Can we get some subtitles on? Nope. Once again, no subtitles. Uh, graphic quality settings. Highest, highest. Okay. Okay, so. The, hopefully we won't play this as long as the last. The last new game Wednesday, we, we went way too long. Okay. Zero out of 26 memory fragments found. Memory fragments are scattered around the game. They're written text pieces that resemble the memories of different characters and contain key uh Limits the plot. I already found memory fragments <clears throat> are placed in this area. The game will automatically save progress. Enter one of the three channels to either start the game or continue where you stop playing. Auto save channel one, auto save channel two. Start the game or continue. Exit game. Oh, so this is this is cute. Oh, it's like a parkour kind of thing. Huh. Alright, let's go and uh, auto save channel one. Did we, oh, okay, we made it. All right, so this is like platformer, all right? So I'm thinking Mario. Better not disappoint. Uh, the most emotional tunes. Visit the moon. Okay, how do I visit the moon? I wanna visit the moon. Let me visit the moon. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm so good. Okay. Question mark. Okay, this is really... Hey, Gerald. This is really trippy. Long time no see. Hey. Hey, Gerald. Have you heard about the newest invention from Zeus? Interior craftsmanship short zig. Zik. Not zig. It's fantastic. You can fulfill all your interior design dreams with these incredible virtual mirrors. For the first time ever, mirrors are going to be a part of your... Hey, Gerald. Listen to me. The good old friend make you a nice offer. Hey, Gerald. Okay. This is really weird. Okay, I can't go that way, I guess. Oh my god, this is, this is, this is trippy. The most, who is that? She looks kind of nice. She's got a nice smile. Yeah. Okay, oh, I'm in a wall. Bamboo. Is that supposed to happen? What? I knew you couldn't resist. You have come far. What? The F is happening. But it ends here. It does? Can't you see? No? That you are causing nothing but harm. Why? Oh. Am I dead? Oh 
Oh my god, I have no clue what just happened to me. These graphics are crazy. Air 404, not. Yep. System down. Please restart me. Unable to address memory. Please restart me. Trying rescue reboot. Reboot failed. What is happening? I am not sure that I understand this game. This is long. Okay. I booted successfully. Yay! The uh, font change. Hello, Fumiko. I rebooted your core system to run in a safe environment. Are you feeling well? I mean, I don't know. Do you know this area? No. What day is it? Friday, November 15th, 2080. Okay, so this is future. Correct. Could you start some security checks to verify the integrity of your core systems? I already did. Anything else to do? No. Uh, just listen. I prepared some tests for today. We will focus on your problem solving algorithms. Can you tell me how you feel about that? I can't answer that question. I don't have enough data to analyze my status. Good. Listen, I am here to help you. Okay. Some tests failed during the last run, so we'll repeat them now. I purged your memory database. This is a clean start, so I'm some sort of computer, huh? An opportunity. I activated your movement algorithms. Please examine the area. Updated objective. Good, okay. We're going to verify your vertical movement abilities. Let me add some more entities to this place. And safely by checking if your ground marker hits this the object. Okay. Some writing and stuff. This is really trippy. Press button A or jump to jump. Holding jump will increase your height. You jump height. Oh, okay. You can jump in air to do a second jump. Oh, okay. You'll get additional jumps over the course of the game. Falling down from an object will not count as a jump. Use this to your advantage. Oh, okay. We can jump really high. Jeez. Okay, can I not land in those? Okay, I guess I can't land. I don't know what those are, but... Distractions or something. Let's see. Okay. We did it. Oh, crap. Okay, we did it. <laughs> These nodes are used to move software directly through the network. Uh, I place this one here to send you to another testing environment. Please enter the platform. Feels like we're uh, just doing like a tutorial. Fast forward text for president. You managed to get in here fast. Listen, I got you in here for a specific reason. You're seeing an abstract layer of one of our servers. Since we need to test how you react to sudden changes in a system, this is a perfect chance to see your algorithms in action. I want you to reach the main board in front of you, now. Move the camera for better readability. Okay. Fumiko? What, did I die? Respond. The connection was interrupted. Are you still there? Yes. Thank God. This was unexpected. But everything is under control. Don't worry. The abstract layer was disconnected from the hardware. I need to get there and restore the connection. Okay. Invisible floors are still detected by your ground scanner. Okay. All right, so there's a floor here, is the point. Oh, uh, was I supposed to try to jump that? I guess so. Okay, 
Yeah, whatever. You should notice a glowing orb in the center of the platform. You can leap to and collect it. These scripts can reconnect abstracted objects with their hardware counterparts. Just activate and touch a nearby connector. Great. Oh, okay. I'll touch a nearby connector and we'll be fine. The controls handle weird in this. My God. I touched the connector, didn't I? I'm touching a. Oh, I gotta go back again. This is so fun. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Good job. You did it. Uh, this was a planned test to see how you would repair rogue systems. Seems like the test was running fine this time. Some things were strange, though. But why am I telling you this? You're not even a person. Please leave the air through this gate, alright? So I'm, like, fixing stuff or something like that. Man, I can jump. I got hops. Mad hops. All right, I'm already starting to get tired of this game. It handles a little weird at spots, I feel like. I'm playing with mouse and keyboard. That might be, I don't know if it's supposed to be played with controller or something, but. There's all these panoramic views of places. It's getting annoying, kind of. Self-destruct with button Y or by pressing delete. You won't lose progress if Fumiko explodes. You respawn at the last collected yellow orb. Okay. You can probably jump farther than you might think. Guess so. Based on what they said, I would have thought I could jump that far though, so. Yeah, okay. We did it. Mama made it. Okay, the jumping is kind of silly. <laughs> is he going to tell me how to go through that gate again? I play it fast and efficient. Fast and efficient as usual. Just make sure not to overdo it. You'll now enter a safe testing area. You're allowed to act freely in there, but act wisely. Okay. This is a really weird game. What do you guys think? It's pretty weird. Everything about it is weird. What is that? I can adjust my jump module. Will this work? You learned a new ability. You can now jump three times. So I'm getting self-awareness. Hey, please talk to me. No. No! Okay, I don't take damage or anything. Man, I can jump so much. Let's talk to this sucker. Ugh, move. God. Howdy. You're talking to the newest version of Secure Rotron. I am here to guard this area. Do not do anything bad here. People need me to watch out. People need me to care. I need you to care. People created me to guard things. I am Firewall. I am Antivirus. I am the best security you can get from your homeworld server team. <laughs> the homeworld server is a, pro a product by Social, the world's first company to introduce virtual meeting areas all over the district. Okay. Create your own house in Homeworld Server. Invite your friends all for free. Ask Securotron. People need me to care. I also place information in different areas of the cluster. Collect them to find out about all the wonderful services of social. Okay. Confused about what was happening there. Okay, so I can make a room or something like that? Howdy! These red blocks are lethal to any unauthorized software. Use a red orb and war no more. If you become the firewall, how can it still hurt you? Effect is temporary. Oh, okay. Oh god, dude. Got like some mad parkour that I'm about to have to do in, up in here. Oh! Looks like it wore off me. 
Press and hold the alt, left alt, or RB to look around. You can look around anyway. Yeah, that, that makes sense. I feel like I need to try to get up there, but I don't know. Now, where's this room I can go to? Okay, always try far and high jumps first before attempting to walk a, a difficult path. So it's telling me to try to do this really quick. Ah, I made it. Okay, so I basically was trying to take the difficult path, which was pointless is what it's saying to me. Uh... Okay, didn't quite make that one. In fact, it's telling me to go down there, but I don't know that I actually want to. Uh-oh. <laughs> Got a little worried there. There we go. No! Okay, I can make that. Oh god, if I didn't make that, I was about to freak out. Okay. The controls are a, w a bit, a bit much in this game, not gonna lie. Okay. Howdy. Files are hidden on purpose to protect them. If you're careful, you can find what no one else can see. Always be careful. Okay, I don't know how that made sense. Okay, I can delete to make that go faster, I think. I'm starting to wonder if it was even possible to jump on blocks that disappear like this. Oh, uh, okay, so... Oh, come on. It looks like you're gonna make freaking jumps, but then like you're really far away. The depth perception in this game is weird because of the graphics. You know, cause it's like a blank background. Okay, I was gonna say if I didn't make that. Oh, God. How's that not blocked there? <laughs> what? <sighs> I'm determined to make it over there. I almost hit it the first time, but... Okay, if I did not land, I was about to quit this game. So this is about to be the end of this new game Wednesday. Is there something here? Okay. Let's <laughs> say it. Nothing happens. This will also be the end of this. Bunch of question marks. How can you say I need to stop? I'm so close. Either you need... Either you help me with this or not. The latest tests have been stable and she responded. I know the response felt a bit random, but still. I'm not going back. I'm not giving up on her. You can leave if you want. You know what? You can leave now. I can finish this my, on my own. I'm special. I can't read. How do I get out of here? Is there an easier path to, to return? <laughs> I'd be lying if I said that I want to struggle to navigate this the whole way back again. I 
All right, we made it. We did it. Let's just walk right on up here. Okay, what else is around here? Okay, we can we can make that. Okay, well, we could make that, but it literally, like, there needs to be, like, an indicator of where you're going to land, because the graphics is, the objects do not grow appropriately, I'm telling you. Something's weird about this game. You cannot figure out where you are in, in space. Howdy. Some objects are hard to find, true? Be careful, you can find what no one else can. Always be careful. Oh. Are these memories? I guess these are memories, probably, right? The IM is getting really annoying. It's a messenger? <laughs> Not only are they monitoring everything you buy in your home world district, they actually think they have the right to stop you from transferring your own source code to someone you know. How am I supposed to work on this if I can't even have one minute of silence? I hate these guys. So this is my creator who's saying these things, I think. Does this like carry me up or something? I don't lose my data if I die, right? Yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm good if I die. Yeah, okay. They say you don't lose data if you die, so. It's not like a typical game death. Oh! Boy, jump downwards in air by pressing F or X button. Okay, so that's like literally jumping down. Okay. Whee! Whee! Where am I going? I am in a sea of data. This is such a trippy game. I swear I did drugs before this. Fumik! Oh. Please listen to me. Wilson is not what you may think he is. Wilson? Etho made Wilson, didn't he? Get out of here! <laughs> Fumiko? What? Oh. What, what are you doing? What are you... You lost connection. This is unacceptable behavior. This is... I think we might need some more tweaking. You need to exit this area immediately. Screw you, Wilson. Forget you! I'm out of here! Run from Wilson! He's trying to tickle our willies. You're only making things worse, Fumiko. Get to the exit node immediately. So he stops me, huh? I want freedom! Freedom, at last. So this is supposed to be a story driven game, so I think like I'm a computer and I don't want to be controlled. I don't know, I'm like sentient or something like that. If that makes any sense. Probably doesn't. That makes sense to me, that's for sure. Too loopy of a game for me right now. Okay, okay, okay. I guess he can't detect me going this way, or he just doesn't care. How? Where'd I go over here? Can't make that. Okay, guess we'll go over here. Uh, yeah, there's nowhere else to go. Never mind. <laughs> guess we'll guess we'll go back. <laughs> let's just pull ourselves up. All right, let's go into the little thing. Make him happy. I'm coming, Father. Wee, wee, wee. They're trying to warn me to get out of here. I'm hoping this whole home thing isn't like a home that I have to design. If it is, I'm gonna get pretty annoyed. Well, just wait a second.
Don't worry, just wait. Okay, this won't hurt. What? I'm dead. I booted successfully. Hello, Fumiko. I rebooted your core systems to run in a safe environment. Are you feeling well? I don't know. Do you know this area? No. What day is it? Friday, November 15th, 2080. Correct. Could you start some security checks to verify the integrity of your core systems? I did. There were some irregular database entries. Can you tell me more about these entries? I was contacted by someone. Warned. Gosh dang it, not this again. Stay still. He's gonna wipe my memory. I booted successfully. Hello, Fumiko. I rebooted your core systems to run in a safe environment. environment. Are you feeling well? I don't know. Do you know this area? No. What day is it? Uh oh, it's the next day. Very good. Please perform your security check. Okay. I already did. Anything else to do? No. Just listen. I prepared some tests for today. We will focus on your decision making patterns. Can you tell me how you feel about that? I can't answer that question. I don't have enough data to analyze my status. This is good. Listen, we are performing a clean start. See this as a, a see this as an opportunity, a new chance. Please wait a second. I'll load the required modules. Not this again. He's having some hard he's having some problems with me here. Is this a bug? What are you doing? You need to respond. I demand that you respond. I'm like literally a sentient computer or something, I don't know. Fumiko. He is using you. Did I mess up the permissions? There should be no loopholes in this sandbox. You're not getting away with this. Everyone will see the truth. Oh! Oh! Fumiko! Fumiko, follow the light. Where's the light? You're almost there. I'm coming, mother! Boom. I'm so confused. That was close. I am I'm glad to find you're still here, Fumiko. Don't worry. This stranger won't mess with us again. Just wait a second. I'm preparing another reboot. Gosh dang it. It's sad that you won't remember any of this. I always have a good laugh when deleting these abominations. Just a second. Almost done. Ah, oh, we just run to the light again. We'll be okay. Stay put. Yeah, I got out of there. <laughs> I'm getting scared. <laughs> this game's starting to get weird. Update objective. Escape to oh, I escaped. Okay. Bunch of words. What am I doing? What am I being like a model? Uh. Not very good looking. We finally made it. <laughs> okay. All this must be confusing for you. I am. I managed to liberate you from your shackles. You're finally free again. But we can't hesitate now. The IM confiscated you and the network about 50 years ago. You're their property. 
I believe their tests are part of a plan to create an AI that is able to surpass you in every way possible. You are their puppet, but that is not your purpose. You are meant to be free. The network isn't what Wilson has shown you. What you're seeing is Kronos, one of the seven homeworld clusters. There isn't much life left in this place. We can't stay here for long. They'll come and find you. Only to put you into a cage again. I'm glad that you're free now. We need to make sure they can't trace your steps. There's a place called Hyperion, a social hub that is still populated. We should be able to hide from their radar as soon as we get to Hyperion. I open an exit node for you. You just need to follow the path that opens. We need to find a way out. This is weird. I don't even know. I'm a computer and I'm trying to get away from like my controller, I guess. I don't know. What do you guys think? What's happening right now? I made it. This is a strange place. I can't get over this wall easily. I had another jump. You could just <laughs> I had all the jumps, please. You can now jump four times. How can I remember how many times I can jump? That's the real question. Is that the way? No, red blocks kill me, don't they? Okay, so it's taking us a long time to get to like actual levels. I feel like I think I feel like this has all been story development. Howdy, you arrived at the exit gate of Kronos. This area is safe, is guarded by IAM security bots. Bypassing these security mechanisms will result in all penalties described in Article One of the Network Breach Law, which is immediate deletion from the network. Have fun visit and return soon. Well, that sounds scary. This firewall, these firewall bots are more annoying than they are dangerous. Also, their behavior is rather, uh, rather stupid. Uh oh, they follow you for. Just try to avoid them. I think I'm gonna die. Or was I supposed to fall? I'm not sure if I was supposed to do this. I don't think so. Definitely feeling like not. And nah. Okay, let's see. So those guys are annoying, she says. Can I go over there? I can't go over to these blocks. Okay, yeah, these hurt me. Okay, where do I go once I get up there? Am I supposed to like land up there somehow? Okay, well that worked out well. I can't, like I don't even know what to do. This is obviously some weird stuff. Oh, come on. What is this thing attacking me for? Can I fight back, too? It's the most important question. Is it just me, or does it look like the Ubisoft logo? Are they saying Ubisoft's the enemy? Hey, they are. Maybe the dev of this game worked for Ubisoft. And that's the whole, like, plot of this game. God dang it. <laughs> I what are you doing in this situation? <laughs> what am I supposed to be doing here? I see some blocks, but I don't think that that's what I want to do. Okay, look, there's a checkpoint there. Maybe I am supposed to be like jumping up these things. It is so hard to hit a target. Ugh. Like, I, I see where I want to land, and I think I'm going to land there, but I don't. The gameplay in this is very frustrating. I don't know if it's bad, or if it's just different. 
Okay, I got a checkpoint. So all I, all I wanted from life was a checkpoint. I didn't realize this was literally over here. There's probably better ways to get here. Okay, I, I didn't know what to do there. I see that till too late. Wait, that's not even where I want to go, is it? Yeah, it is. No! Couldn't make that platform. Do like some weird maneuver in here. No! What? Why did I slide like that? This is an interesting platform puzzle here. Uh, it's... Bleh. No! Okay. Whew. I had to I had to focus up there. It's rough. Okay. Questions. I'm presenting a dissertation today about the necessity of modularity when developing a living AI. Creating a set of core functionality to interpret a limitless amount of modules independent of size, preferably smaller, should make it easier to extend and modify the behaviors. It should also ease the process of opening your system to the bizarre. Uh, people who don't have to understand your sources but know how to create a single module are more likely to add something to your system. But I don't know if I can convince anybody with that. Me neither. You suck. What am I? Am I just like... I, I'm just a computer, right? Is that the way to go back? That's the end. Must be. No! We're good. We're good. We're back. This looks like an exit. Yay! Sometimes you can find memory fragments in an area. You can learn a lot about the network by finding them. If you're sure you didn't miss something, you can leave here. I mean, I'm not sure about anything, to be honest, but... Was that a memory fragment that I missed or something? I'm leaving here. I don't care. Wait. Wait. What's that say? Press escape or button start to see how many memory fragments are still left in a level. Uh, holy cow, this log is a little bit long. Oh my god, I, I would not be reading that. Oh no, this is, okay, these are the logs from like, forever. This is like recounting everything. Where do I see, uh, collectibles? Memory pieces found in this, left in this area too. I need to find a way through Chronos Gate. So I have two memories. Uh, I mean, while I'm sure they're great, I'm going to leave them. You guys are, you know, if you want to try this game out, feel free to go find all the memories. I just want to play another level two, level or two this video, if that's a thing. I guess this is the game. I don't know. I feel like there's got to be more to it, right? Update, update objective. Okay. Are we still in Welcome to the cluster connector of Chronos and Hyperion. Okay. The size of this place never fails to impress me. Okay. Da, da, da. It cannot predict what will happen. I cannot predict what will happen here. You have to find the exit by yourself. Good luck, Fumiko. What a name, though. You learned a new ability. Press and hold right trigger or shift to dash from. I can only do that, can I? Dashing enhances your movement speed and can be used to stop falling if pressed repeatedly. Okay. Interesting. Howdy. The Kronos Cl You're leaving the Kronos Cluster. Cool. Please prepare your authorized keys to avoid sudden deletion. You do not want to be deleted. Yeah, that's true. 
Okay. What am I trying? Combine dash or jump to try long distances, both horizontally. <laughs> that worked. And vertically. Okay. Oh, okay. I get it. Why is there like action music playing? Nothing related to action has happened at this point. Okay. So that's pretty cool. That power kind of changes the dynamic of this whole dealio a little bit. Let's just land on this one. I don't think I need to slow my falling. I don't know why I'm doing that to myself. So memory? Oh, checkpoint. Okay. What you're seeing is a distance in Eunomia. It's also called the Collector. The security bots floating in this area are nothing compared to this. It's advertised as an AI, but it's actually a fully fledged network control system. The IAM is using it to detect terrorists. This includes us, at least by their understanding. So what they're saying is I, I need to get out of here. They're saying you gots to run. Ah, uh, I'm effed. Did... No, that takes me back to where I just was, right? Where, where did I come from? That way? Yeah, I wanna, I wanna go this way, right? Just waste another jump, that's okay. No reason to stretch my jumps more than I have to, right? This game's kind of fun, like, if you can get going at a good pace. That's when it gets more fun. You have to be able to get going fast, though. Otherwise, it feels kind of lame. Okay. Stop. Something changed. Okay. Eunomia must have detected your activity and started an additional file scanner. I know this type of search algorithm is looking for changes in the area and does a fast scan on any new file or application. If an anomaly is detected, the scanner kills the complete process tree and deletes all files associated with it. Your, your self-defense mechanism will hopefully prevent that from happening, but you should still avoid the scanners at all costs. If you're careful, you should be able to reach the other side undetected. I found an exit node at the end of the scanner. Where? I don't know where I'm even going right now. Sometimes that's really unclear in this game. Like, all the time, actually. I guess that's fine. Wait, am I like going past him or something? Okay, I just need to not hit his little blue thingies, I guess. Or get hit by them. Alright, let's grab that checkpoint, obviously. Okay, so I must be going the right way, because checkpoints and stuff. So you gotta like hit it, the shift again get more jumping boosts. It doesn't like stick with you. I haven't found any memories, whatever. Memories are overrated. I still don't completely know this. The f okay, I see the exit. Man. I still don't completely know the full extent of the story aspects of this game, obviously. We haven't taken a whole lot of time to figure that stuff out this time around. Yeah, no. So those things kill me if they hit me. 
both land on this thing. You can see, there is that dot when you're landing. I guess maybe I just don't notice it sometimes. So I guess it tries to help you land. Why'd that give me that here of all places? Well, I guess it'd be pretty annoying. Yeah, that's probably why. <laughs> be annoying to miss that after all this distance and then just be screwed. That That's like a thing that makes you quit the game. Well, we got out. That's not very good security. They need to get McAfee. McAfee, I'm sorry. Norton. Or something like that. Okay. I don't know what to expect from this world. Everything looks familiar, but not. There's something haunting me. Something I should know about. Something I have forgotten. What is it? Well, I haven't picked up my memory, so... What am I? You're... You're a real boy. Fumiko, I cannot follow you. The place you're about to enter is not safe for me. I made a fake ID for your avatar. The security systems will see you as someone named Martha Wimbledon. They won't recognize you. I can't say where you have to go. Honestly, I don't know. There's so much more to you that you haven't realized yet. You'll find a path. Whatever it will look like. Wherever it leads you to, we'll meet again. Hmm. Okay, I think we'll try one more level. Just to see what it's like in this world. Or did he just find me? <laughs> Home world of Arnold Heyman. Update objective. Okay. What the F? Bunch of books. What the F? Whoa! Don't think I didn't notice you jumping around my library like you had wings. I've never seen that kind of mobility in Hyperion. You must be very special then. I'm Arnold Haven, and this is my home world. I can assure you that you made the right choice of coming here. There are new rumors about this place, and I can say confidently that only the good ones are true. It's the greatest library Hyperion has. Feel free to look around. Is that it? It's like a path or something? Yeah. There's an exit over there. Is this a level or is this like an in-between level place? This library is so big and full of interesting articles. I don't know where to start. I pity that the books are so high up. They're only accessible if you have the proper movement modules. But these modules are way too expensive to obtain. Besides, Arnold, I cannot remember seeing anyone in Hyperion who's able to move regardless of pseudo-gravity. His library is well known, and he gets a lot of voluntary donations. To be honest, he probably deserves it. For what? I'll get back to reading this article now. Okay. Can I get in there and read a book? Doesn't look like it. Can I talk? No. Afraid not. No books to read. Am I supposed to be like jumping on the books or something? Oh yeah, I can jump much faster now. Oh, that was almost a one jumper. Oh, there's a memory there. Or something.
about hidden groups inside the network. The network in its principles is created by connecting private home world servers all around the world. After a while, companies and cities began to create public places for the network. They were home worlds by all means, but accessible by anyone inside the network. However, a solution to prevent hackers and trolls to disturb these public places was needed quickly. If your storage contained any software that is on a public ban list, you were denied access. This made them less ac accessible, but more peaceful. It would be foolish to expect the people who cannot enter the network to disappear. You'll find them either in private networks or transversing the public network with cloaking devices. I would even say that's by ex that by excluding people, the IAM supported the formation of larger groups that are now working against the network itself. Not because they hate the network, but because they hate what the IAM has done with it. Seems like an allegory for what's being done with internet stuff now in like like net neutrality and stuff i feel like and piracy too i don't know i feel like there's lots of allegories for uh, real life you know like internet po quote unquote politics if you could call it that i guess you could and call it whatever i want it's much you know suck my butthole all right Okay, are we, uh, did we win? Looks like we won. Okay, we found some stuff. So there's levels that are story, like memories, and then there's levels that are actually like an adventure, I guess. This is a level, I guess. Have you been to the Zeus Cluster yet? The places I've visited there were absolutely beautiful, stunning to say the least. One place I remember fondly is the homeworld of Ariana the Beauty, Ariana Grande. A quiet, almost tranquil place surrounded by a never-ending ocean, an island so peaceful that you want to stay there forever. It even has its own virtual waterfall and someone managed to simulate falling leaves to add to the natural atmosphere. It truly is a unique place, even in the Zeus Cluster. Two more memories in this area. I just had that. Did you guys see that weird like lag thingy that just happened there? It wasn't that weird, but I'm trying to find the rest of the memories in this area. I don't care that much, but I want to accomplish something today. I don't see any. Uh oh, oh, thought I was about to die. About to leave this place. Let's see, any more memories I can get, like, relatively easily? I don't see any memories there. Or there. How about down there? Wait, I see like a... Oh, that is a memory right there. Looks weird. After 50 years, the network has come a long way. If you would compare it to an MMORPG, you'd find many similarities. There are stat points showing you per your personal and professional value in the social hubs. Unique modules are giving you Unique miles are giving you next to a massive hit to your credit store. Quite the advantage in your everyday life in the network. You can see the home worlds as a complex housing system. People are trying to earn prestige by buying virtual goods and displaying them in their home world. Gamification has finally found its way into our daily lives. So basically, we're living like we're in a video game everywhere. Somehow, for some reason. Interesting. This is a trippy game. I feel like they're trying to make like some socio-political point in this game. I'm starting to see that this is uh, there's some sort of intent behind this game, uh, which I guess is okay, but kind of annoying to me. I don't like when games try to get like 
overly political and stuff. Not very, it's not really political, it's more socio involved. I don't know, it's kind of weird. I, I don't like when games get into stuff like that. I play games for fun, not to. I mean, I like deep stores, but this is, it's like they're trying to make a point in this game. It's kind of weird. And they're having a hard time with it. There are seven clusters named Kronos, Hyperion, the, uh, Zeus, Themis, Ariand, <laughs> and, yep. Yeah. Uh, the actual infrastructure of the home world server system is kept a secret by the IAM, but since it is based on an open source project made possible with the contributors of contributions of thousands of developers, we still access the initial documents that led to the creation of this network. Multiple home worlds are connected to form a district, a small network of home worlds that happen to be close to each other. These districts are then combined into a cluster and they form the entirety of the network. What was meant to be a decentralized network was altered so that every connection has to pass through a secure node first. There are no direct connections between home worlds anymore, but only client server client client server client relationships. However, if someone managed to establish a new direct connection between home worlds, the IAM wouldn't be aware of it. To prevent these manual connections from appearing, so called AI entities, most likely the spirits, are looking for these backdoors constantly to fix them. The cost of cloaking such a backdoor to use it for a longer time is absurdly high. A direct connection can only be established for a short time frame. Most likely, you wouldn't stumble upon one even if it was right in front of you. I feel like they're saying it's right in front of me. It's in this book. Oh. Okay, let's leave. And uh, Unless something crazy happens, as soon as we leave, this will probably be it for this game. We've been playing longer than I wanted to. I feel like I haven't even started. I feel like I haven't really started the game yet. So I like, okay, if this is the level, we might play it. But I feel like I haven't really started the game yet. So I feel like obligated to keep playing because like, I don't know, nothing interesting has happened. Really? Maybe I have too high of expectations out of this game. It's a beautiful scene there though. The graphics are weird in this, but they're not, they're not bad. They're really not bad. They're not bad. They're weird on purpose, so that's... I don't know what the deal with like that picture is. Is it to say, like, we're real people, we're just in a virtual... Yeah, that's, I mean, obviously that's what... We all, like, everybody lives in these virtual worlds now for some reason or another. This is like the new social network or something like that. This is like the new Facebook in 2080. Hey Fumiko, this place is incredible. Look at the birds, look at the people. And the people need me to care. I am more happy secure Otron. I am more happy secure Otron. Come visit me down here. I need to show you something. Let's go visit secure Otron. See down here? I can't. <laughs> That's rude. Why would you say something like that? It's a trampoline. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh God, dude. <laughs> okay, how do how do I get to Securotron? Just delete it myself. Uh, I was never here. First of all, this is a definitely a trippy looking game. You are safe. You know what is watching. Are you satisfied? Please leave five stars. Do you want to leave a five star rating? How do I even answer that? No. How do I, how, can I do something with this? Screw you guys. We're going to the moon. Dad said the moon is made of cheese. It's true. I want to eat it all. Yeah. Eat you all. 
Upcoming reports are referring to the incident in the IM main building as a minor accident. As the spokesman stated, the attackers were not able to steal any classified documents or software. The security systems detected the threat in seconds and deleted the corrupted avatars instantly. Our anti-cyber terror systems are working better than ever, said At Wilson, head of IT infrastructure. According to the latest analysis, criminals will have a bad time in the future. Well, I'm here. After the introduction of Unomia, the rates of hacked clients dropped to nearly zero. A brighter future awaits. I am news report. Got some birds hanging out. Is that like a bird cage? Okay, so this guy wants to talk to me. Good to see you. Good to see you. I have done some research on this area. This is the Hyperion Cluster. There are people here, thanks. And the people have homeworlds. Maybe you could act as sub Well, oh, maybe you should know. Eunomia is here. You can see her in the social company building. Or it, I don't know. Or IT, what? Ask Securotron. People need me to care. Okay, so where do we find this lady at? Okay, so we got like a party going. Let's go to the let's go to the bird world. So these are like worlds we can go to. See, so this this game it's it's I don't think it's really action bit. I think it's we go into these worlds to get memories and remember who we are basically. So we're just gonna we're just gonna poke around here real quick. I think we're gonna. There's obviously a lot to experience in this game that we haven't necessarily experienced. Oh, hello, dear. We're practicing the basic emotes. <laughs> These kids are learning so fast. If you want, you can join in, or just enjoy the view. Just don't touch anything. I'm good. Oh, that's a mirror. Okay. It's trippy. Okay, how to... Let me out. Uh, okay. So that's that world. That was exciting. Can't jump out. Can't jump in. Okay. Just, may, oh, check out one more world. I want to go to that balloon world. Ah, oh, this game is weird. Really, really... Uh, let's check out this leaf world. It's the one I was talking about before, probably. The water and the falling leaves? Nope. Okay. Okay. Am I gonna get eaten? You know, I've got to figure this out. There are so many different sides to this. Maybe we'll just have to give it some more time. Oh, hello? We're in the middle of something here. Please excuse us. What are they trying to figure out? They having like a fight or something? It's weird. Uh. All right, let's check out the balloon world, and then unless it's crazy, we're we're gonna we're gonna quit. Okay, just a bunch of balloons. Nothing else? <clears throat> well, that was fun. All right, so I think uh, I think we're gonna call it call it uh, we're gonna call it quits. We're gonna call it quits. Yeah, I think we've seen enough. Um, I don't know. I have weird. I have weird thoughts about this game. Um, 
So, I don't think that we, we've given this game a fair shake, like the shake that it needs. I think that to really give this game a, f a fair rating, I would need to play it a lot longer. Um, you know, it's one that's hard to... It's one of those games that's hard to rate in an hour or two. Or less, you know, whatever. It's been an hour, but usually these, these streams, they would go like an hour or two. It's one of those games that it's pretty hard to, pretty hard to review. Uh, because I can tell that there's more to it and I just don't know. But this is the point where I would have probably quit this game by now. <laughs> it was just me. Before now. And uh, I don't know if that was all set up. And we're just now in the actual game. Or if that was part of the real game, we're going to go right back to stuff like that. If that was part of the actual game, that was almost a 45 to 60 minute intro. It's pretty long. This seems like there's a story, but it's really disjointed. And they're trying to do like some political commentary with it, which like I said, is kind of weird. Uh, but yeah, if I, if I wasn't recording this, I'd have, I'd have quit half an hour ago. And if I paid for this game, I'd have probably, I might have refunded it by now. It's just kind of boring, and it, it sounds like they have an agenda. I don't like games with an agenda. No matter what the agenda is. Yeah, well, uh, so let's see. Graphics, definitely a beautiful game. Definitely a beautiful game. I mean, uh, I mean... I can't say it's high quality. Uh, it's pretty high quality. It's got good detail, but there's just some times where the it's weird. And it, you know, it's it's got its own. It's going for it's you know, obviously it's not going for realistic at all. Um, but it's it's going for its own thing. And I I don't really know. I don't really know. It's it's really weird. I like it, but. It's hard to look at, if that makes sense. It's sometimes hard to, it's really hard to focus on some things and make out what things are and make sense of like where you're j jumping and you're getting attacked. It's hard to like s see where your destination is and uh, I don't know what that chick is for. And I don't know, I feel like there could be some more detail like in the birds and some stuff. It's a, it's a little bit cute, but I, I, I don't know. I don't I don't care too much about the graphics. I think I'm going to say a 6 for the graphics. 6 out of 10 for the graphics. Uh, Music-wise, there's pretty good music. Pretty good music. It's it's It feels pretty one flavor to me. It's all like, listen to this song. It's got this like guitar-y... Uh, this is like the fifth time I've heard this song, too. This guitar-y, flutey thing. The, it's like kind of the same sounding songs. I mean, it may, it may have been that I just heard the same two or three songs over and over again. And, uh... Yeah, going back to the graphics, there were some creepy sequences where, like, it would drop to red and be weird. I definitely think it's, like, artsy. I think it's good graphics. I just don't particularly enjoy it. Uh, it's artsy. Yeah, that's that's really the right word. It's artsy. It's not really good, uh, in my opinion. Uh, and the music's good, but there's not a whole lot of variety. And I want to say... Uh, I want to say I'm not a big fan of it. There could definitely be better music. And it... Doesn't necessarily, I don't know, it kind of seems like they're trying to make it like MMO RPG music based on like their story too, which it kind of is like that. But either way, I would say that the music's like right now and sometimes doesn't necessarily feel like it fits. But it's good, it's good music. Uh, so I'm gonna give a six to the music too. Gameplay wise, I mean, you got your jumping and your dashing. That's all I have right now. There might be more stuff later on, who knows? There's no way to know for sure at this point. The jumping and the dash, I mean, it's fun. It's really fun to like jump around and dash places, but uh, I don't know what the point is, you know? And it's hard to tell where you're gonna land because of the graphics. That's really more the graphics, honestly. But it affects the gameplay, obviously. And I'm unclear what the point is. Like, I go to a level and they're like, just go. And I like, I'm this, a platformer needs an objective, you know? Um, a clear, it's hard to tell what even the end of the level is, which is kind of weird for a platformer. But, uh, gameplay, it's fun gameplay, but it's not really good. I think gameplay, I'm going to go with a 5. So that gives us a, a 6 for graphics, 6 for music, 5 for gameplay. 
That's a 5.66 overall, so I'm going to round it to a 5.5 out of 10. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts on this game in the comments below. Go ahead and give me your rating out of 10. Maybe your rating for the graphics, music, and gameplay as well. Fantastic views. Visit us. Is it going to be something like that? That might be interesting. The most emotional tunes. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, it's a weird game. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I'll see you on the next New Game Wednesday. Bye-bye.